Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by HedgeDesignTutorials.com. This tutorial will transform a person into a stone statue in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by using the quick selection tool to remove the background from the image. Now, let's use the eraser tool to remove the hair from the subject. Let's create a white background layer behind the subject to clearly see the details. Now we'll use the clone stump tool to completely erase the eyes and the eyebrows and any hair from the face of the subject. Let's go to Filter menu and choose Camera Row Filter. In Camera Row window, go to the Detail tab, then reduce the sharpening parameters to 0, and set the noise reduction luminance to 100 and the luminance detail to 14. Then click on OK button to apply the settings. Now hold Ctrl key on the keyboard, then click the thumbnail of the layer to select its content. Then go to the Tools bar and select the Magic Wand tool, then hit the Select and Mask button in the top. In the Select and Mask properties, I'll change the view mode to On Layer. And I'll change the global refinement parameters as shown to make the edges of the subject smooth and clean. Now we'll go to Select Menu and choose Inverse, then tap the Delete key on the keyboard to refine the edges of the subject. We can use the Smudge tool to hide and soften any natural skin details on the subject. Now we'll go to Image Menu, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast to reduce the contrast all the way down. 
Now I'll import a real static image in Photoshop. Then I'll use the pen tool to cut the eye from this real statue, then blend it in the face of the subject. Now we need to position the eye correctly on the face of the subject. Then I'll go to brightness and contrast to adjust the lightness of the eye. Then I'll desaturate the eye. Now we'll easily use the eraser tool to sit and blend the eye with the face as shown. I'll duplicate the eye, then I'll adjust the size and the position of both eyes until I get a perfect mix. Now I'll cut the hair from the real statue. Then I'll resize and set the hair on the head of the subject as shown. Then I'll adjust the brightness and contrast of the hair. I'll use the eraser tool again to blend the hair with the subject. Now I'll tap Ctrl plus E to group the hair and the subject layers together. Let's use the burn tool to darken some areas in the hair and the subject. Also, I'll use the spot healing brush tool to fix anything if needed.
Now I'll go ahead and import some sort of stone texture to make things more realistic. I'll resize the texture layer. Then I'll desaturate it. Then I'll change the mode to multiply. Now I'll control click the thumbnail of the layer to select its content. Then I'll select back the texture, then go to select menu and choose inverse. Then I'll tap the delete key to remove the texture from outside the subject layer. Now I'll select the texture layer and go to filter menu, camera roll filter. Then from there I'll switch to the effects tab, then raise the dehaze effect to bring up more details on the texture layer. Then I'll use the eraser tool to remove the texture from some spots in the image. Now let's use the burn tool to darken any natural skin reflections. Now let me show you an easy trick to take advantage of the original background of the image. So let's import back the original photo of the subject. Then I'll decrease its size and place it in the background. Now, I will rasterize the layer and use the Clone Stomp tool to fill out the empty areas in the background. Finally, I'll flatten the image, then go to Camera Row Filter and increase the dehaze effect a little bit more to bring up more details on the image. Also, I'll use the sharpen tool to make the stone texture stand out in the image. So, this is how I've made this photo manipulation in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.